probably when I was like first got into surfing, I just was instantly drawn to board design. The first surfboard I made was a five six single fin round tail egg. Five one just standard wolf shortboard. I had a blank and I went to the kitchen and got some kitchen tools and started shaping it with a cheese grater. I enjoyed building it more than I liked riding it. So as soon as I was done with it and tried it, I wanted to just get back in the bay and make another one right away. I think it just feels natural to make yourself a surfboard. Shaping your own boards, you don't have to wait. You just make whatever you want. There's no real rules of like what you can and can't make. That's why I started shaping out of necessity to have something that someone didn't want to make you. You don't have to ask a favor of a shaper, you just got to figure out how to do it with your own hands and that's what really got me hooked. Well everyone up here I'd consider like a friend so we don't even really think about it that what we're doing like because it's just natural we all just love surfboards and love shaping them. I think it would work sick with your uh, with the squid, with the squid and yeah. just destroy it right there like early finish. I actually used to I was taught to like watch the blade. Kind of like smoothly try to wrap it in. You're doing a good job foiling those rails. Everyone shapes so much different from each other that it was nice to see like different tricks and different ways to pull everything together. It makes surfing that much more personal and then if you also get good enough and like you can give that joy to somebody else, you know, that's really special in its own way. So there's just too many things. A part of making your own surfboards and surfing that I don't think that'll ever go away.